Elaine Pichardo Urbina, <laughs> Deputy Permanent Representative. Thank you very much, Sarah. Buenos dias, good morning, esteemed compañeras and compañeros. Receive a cordial, solidary, and revolutionary greetings from our Comandante President Daniel Ortega Saavedra and Compañera Vice President Rosario Murillo of the Republic of Nicaragua. It is an honor to be here with all of you, and we appreciate the invitation to participate in this International Assembly Against Imperialism in solidarity with the Palestinian resistance. Having our country as reference 200 years of anti-imperialism and the thoughts of the Latin America and Caribbean peoples for their freedom, independence, and sovereignty against European colonialism, U.S. imperialism, and its Monroe Doctrine put in place since 1823. Since the rise of colonial imposition, our peoples have fought heroically against the occupation raising the flags of national liberation, independence, national sovereignty, and self-determination, having achieved significant progress in the processes of decolonization. Nicaragua is no exception to the colonial and neocolonial imposition. Broadly colonized by Spain and Great Britain, militarily intervened by the United States on multiple occasions under the neocolonial Monroe Doctrine, each of them faced and defeated by our brave people. Imperialism, which was born of colonial policy and enriched itself through labor exploitation and usurpation of the world's raw materials, tries to maintain its domination through unipolar hegemonism, aggressions such as unilateral coercive measures or the so-called sanctions, and war, trying to destroy peace, security, and stability of peoples and nations. In spite of these continuous aggressions, this new era is given birth to a multipolar thinking, a practice of solidarity and a permanent sense of struggle of all our peoples against the old and new forms of colonial, neocolonial, and imperialist imposition. Since 1823, with the so-called Monroe Doctrine, the United States has maintained its policy of interference and aggression, false moral morality, claiming to be the judge and prosecutor of the peoples of the world and world hegemonic power. Sandino in Nicaragua, in the midst of the struggle against U.S. military aggressions in the 20s and 30s of the last century, elaborated the plan of the supreme dream of Bolivar in his vision of struggle for the sovereignty and national dignity of Nicaragua, managing to defeat the U.S. invaders. In the face of these realities, our progressive and revolutionary peoples continue to win, thus contributing to this struggle against imperialism, fascism, neocolonization, and for a new international order, just, equitable, respectful, and multipolar. United in solidarity, we are and we will be able to defeat the imperialist, fascist, and neocolonialist policies that try to continue dominating and imposing their selfish agendas on our Mother Earth. The brotherly Palestinian people, the inhabitants of Gaza, are the most recent example of hegemonic imperialist brutality. Our firm, militant solidarity with the Palestinian people and our condemnation of the genocide and occupation of world imperialism and the government of Israel. We demand an immediate ceasefire, an end to war crimes, the construction of peace, and the materialization of a free, independent, and sovereign state of Palestine. Nicaragua supports the courageous decision of the South African people and government to demand Israel in the International Court of Justice for the genocide committed against the brotherly people of Palestine in the Gaza Strip. At the UN, the United Nations, Nicaragua will continue to advocate for the respect of the self-determination, independence, and freedom of Palestinian people. As Vice President of the Bureau of the Committee on the Exercise on the Inalienable Rights of the Palestinian People, which is headed by Senegal, its President, and the brotherly countries of Cuba, Indonesia, Namibia, and Malaysia also as Vice Presidents. 
we firmly reject all forms of colonial, neocolonial, and imperialist manifestations. We, Nicaraguans, are a brave and courageous people who have throughout our history not allowed ourselves to be subjugated by the imperial boot. We participate in this event inspired by our ancestors who confronted the colonial hordes with the spirit of Sandino, of Bolivar, of Martí, of Che, who offer their lives for national liberation, the struggle against US military intervention and its current forms of imperialism. We also commemorate the internationalist and universal legacy of Lenin in the struggle of the national liberation of the peoples to free themselves from colonialism, imperialism, and most especially, in his theoretical and practical contributions in the organization of the proletarians in the inevitable and necessary class struggle of the oppressed against the oppressors in our mother earth. We reiterate our greetings and sincere gratitude to all of you for your solidarity with our peoples in struggle. We are convinced that together we will achieve the better world that we desire and that we are building. Muchas gracias. Yeah.